let's talk about the ear a little bit. Okay, so, <laughs> nice drawing, huh? This is otitis externa. Everything from here, the tympanic membrane, also known as the eardrum, this way is considered externa, the external part of the ear. So if you have inflammation or infection in this area, oto, of course, means hearing. Okay, so oto, oto, otitis would be inflammation or infection of the ear. So otitis externa is going to be an infection from the tympanic membrane out. Okay, then the next one, which is the most common, and you know, otitis media. Otitis, oto, ear, itis, inflammation and infection. So, of the media, media middle. So, like otitis media is when you have a middle ear infection. This is by far the most common. So, in the middle part of the ear, you know, you have these little bones. And this is the inner ear here. Let me move this over just a little bit. I got it too close. Okay, so here's the middle ear. This is the middle part. And what can happen here is you can get fluid and it doesn't drain. This is your eustachian tube. EU, e eustachian tube. And this is what drains this fluid out. Okay, well what happens is this gets inflamed and infected and it can't drain out. Or if you have tonsils, because this drains, if you open up and look in a mirror, you can see right where your tonsils are behind those is a tiny little slit looking thing. That is where your eustachian tube drains into the back of your throat. Well, if your throat is swollen up, can you see how this would not drain? Okay, which causes this to back up and to get inflamed and infected. And when this does that, what happens is this tympanic membrane, all this extra fluid pushes up against it. And you, have you ever had a doctor say, oh my, you have a bulgy eardrum." That's what happens. And then if it goes too much, what happens? Whoosh, it bursts, you get a little tear in it, and some infection will come out. This is otitis media, middle ear infection. Then you have otitis interna, internal interna. This is an inner ear infection. They are known, that's the cochlea, the seashell looking thing back, way back in there. This is known for making you dizzy as all get out. Absolute vertigo when you have an inner ear infection. These two generally, they usually get antibiotics for if they're a true infection. This one, sometimes they'll give you a uh, decongestant in hopes of draining this out. Otherwise, um, as you know, um, an antibiotic. And in here you can get an antibiotic drops, ear drops sometimes. Of course, the drops won't go past the tympanic membrane. So it would be used for otitis externa, right? Um, and that can be if you've ever had swimmer's ear where this gets an infection in here. Sometimes also you'll know people who will say, oh, you have to put a drop of alcohol or um, you know, something in there to help dry this out or get those eardrops that dry it out. Um, that can happen as well. Um, when you do eardrops, make sure not to bullseye. That is when they lay down and you drop it straight down in because you don't want to hit that that um, tympanic membrane that would be painful a and b it can also cause a bubble so you want to roll it down the edge okay that's it for this one